In the biker world, there is one event that stands out above all others. Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. What started out as a race with nine riders in 1938 is now an annual event that attracts over 400,000 people every year. For the past 40 years, my grandpa, Arlen Ness, has been one of those people, and Sturgis has been a mainstay for my family every August. This year's Sturgis is going to be more special than ever. But more on that later. Right now, I have a potential client coming in who's got an unusual request. And hey, that's always worth checking out. So James actually just stopped by. He's got a sport bike, but he's looking to step into a little different bike. And uh, okay. I thought you're the man to come talk to. I need something Stormtrooper white. Stormtrooper white. <laughs> yeah, I'm going down to Comic-Con. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I need something that's going to be like. OK. As long as I can remember, I've always been a Star Wars fan, especially when the episode one, two, and three came out. It was all about the pod racers. You know, the pod racers? Star Wars? That's how I feel when I'm on a bike, man. <laughs> that's, that's how I want to feel when I'm riding you. into Comic-Con, you know? Okay. The guy wants Stormtrooper White. Do I know what Stormtrooper White is? No. But I do know that it's white. That's all I know. So, uh, I mean, you got any idea what you're looking for? I think I need to go Harley, man. If you're going to your first Harley, maybe a sport should be a good choice. What's your budget looking like for this? I can do anywhere from about 8000 to about 10000 We can do a sports ship for that. We can get a sports ship, good price. We'll do a, a flat white, satin white, so you add a little bit of sheen to the paint so it's not just flat, flat. Quick question, do you have that Stormtrooper outfit, though? I do. Oh, do you? Yeah. All right, I will do it as long as you come here in the Stormtrooper outfit when you pick it up. I think we're going to have to make this happen. OK, all, all right. right. Man. Well, I need this, man. Cool. I heard you're the, you're the guy to go to. This is the place to be. This is like my eighth year going to Comic-Con. So I need to show up in style. I want people to be taking pictures. I want girls to hop on the back. I'm hoping Zach can do something for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm stoked for this build. It's different, but with the white to blacks, I know it's going to be cool. I guess we're going Stormtrooper. I was just hoping he didn't come through with like a furry Chewbacca. Uh, Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stoked about the new job, but it's coming at a very busy time. Here it is. Finally. Today, three brand new Nest Edition Victory Motorcycles are arriving for a very special event at the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. They look pretty good. Yeah. For this year's rally, Victory has created a special challenge, a build-off between me, my dad, and my grandpa. Got to doll them up a little bit. A little bit? You're going to doll it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Little bits not on your vocabulary. Yeah. You got dad, we got grandpa, we got me. We're building off against each other inside our family. Whoever can build the best buy, it's a big deal. A little competition among family here? Among family, so I can smoke you too. Yeah. Each one of us gets one of this year's Nest Signature Series cross countries to do whatever we want with it. The bikes are courtesy of Victory, but all the expenses come out of our own pockets. It's going to be a shame we have to screw up our Nest Signature Series the perfect yeah. way it comes, but we got a great looking motorcycle, but we're going to. Tear the thing up. Cut okay. it up and make it look cool. At Sturgis, Victory's having a giant event where the public can come and choose their favorite. Mine will be done first. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> you want this one, Dad? You want this one? Yeah, I'll take it. This one's mine. My dad's a bit of a wild card. You can go any kind of direction. When he builds a full bike, he goes all in. He'll throw in something in the cars you're not see coming, and it'll hit you real fast. This one's yours, Zach. Here we go. Future winner of the Nest Family competition. Let's just see how good you are. All right, all right. Oh, nice. <laughs> really? So you ride that to Sturgis? <laughs> yeah, I got my work cut out for me. Very funny, guys. We're going to see who's got the last laugh. Well, I'm off to the build area. See yeah, you guys. got things to do. <laughs> yeah, we got some glue and. But I, I, st I do have a bike, though? Yeah, it's over there. All right, all right, good. <laughs> <laughs> One of the biggest factors in our build-off is going to be fabrication. And each one of us has our go-to guy. Grandpa has drafted his longtime employee, Wayne, who's worked here for over 20 years, besides having a fantastic voice. Little machine, blow some powder on it and throw it in the oven. Oh. Wayne also knows what Grandpa wants, and he gets it done quick. I'll run downstairs. Maybe I'll walk. My dad's brought in Brendan Thompson, a guy who's made a huge name for himself at a shop called Fat Cats. Brendan's worked with a lot of well-known guys in the industry. For me, 
It's good old reliable Jim. The king of? OK. So what if he's 68 years old and a little off? OK, come on, kids. I know Jimmy will get it done. At the moment, I'm in the middle of a million projects, from Nest product to Nest marketing. So for Sturgis, I'm going to sit back and assess the competition. Grandpa's doing what he's famous for. He's making it long, he's making it low, and you know it's going to be comfortable. Cut that there? Yes. We can cut that there. You were also wanting to try to bring the fairing down? Right. Arlen's got to stretch his and rake it. We got to hack it up. So we're stretching the neck from the frame seven inches and adding more degree of rake. Now we just got a whole lot of welding to do on this neck and pray it doesn't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> My dad's bike is going to be all about looks. A unique, sexy piece of art with the flowing lines Pops is known for. Here's what I'm thinking for the front section. OK. Most people, when they fix up custom baggers, they don't touch the fairing because there's so much going on. There's all the instruments. There's, there's the wind. It's just not easy to change. So I wanted to start out there. And we may trim this in a little bit to give it a more of a sweeping look. I kind of figured if I can get something really cool, such as a custom fairing, the light's not too small. It'd probably work fine, huh? Everything else can just be warmed up, and I'll have a killer motorcycle. Kevin, what you got here? This is a cute little bike. Trade in, and no, you can't have it. Really? No, you can't have it. I'm scoping out a trade in bike that'd be perfect for my Stormtrooper special. I want it, though. For what? The trick here is to get our GM, Kevin King, to sell me the sports or a trade in value, which that's a little bit of a sacrifice for the shop. Myself? Maybe to sell later, but mostly myself. What do you mean, what am I going to do with it? This is supposed to go to the floor, Zach. I got to well, sell bikes. You have like 100 on there. If Kevin knew what I had planned for this Sportster, he might not let it go. So I'm not going to mention anything about Stormtrooper, Comic-Con, nothing. I need to get even on this thing. This bike is really clean. Mileage is low. It doesn't even need tires. Are you going to give me a decent price for it? I'll give you $750 for it. $750. Here, I'll give you this foot peg for $750. <laughs> All right, whatever you got in it, I'll pay for it. Is it good? What do you got in it? You know, I gotta, I'm going to do, do something Are you going to do something it. nice with it? Yeah, duh. 4500 bucks. 4500 bucks. yes. I yes. will do that. 4500 is perfect. The bike doesn't need any mechanical work, and we just concentrate on the aesthetics, pump out a few grand in a short amount of time. Let's let you check. Stip in the name of the love. The what? My favorite is my cousin Vinny. It's your conclusion that the two youths, the what? The two youths, Yana, the defendants. I don't do a very good Joe Pesci, but yeah, that one always cracks me up. While everyone else is working on the Sturgis bikes, I'm going to do what I do best. Go on the hunt for our next project. Greg's really into dirt bikes. Not really my big thing, but that old expression, everything old will be new again, is so true. So this is my 1975 Yamaha DT250B. What you see is way better condition than what it was in. This old 75 Yamaha DT250 was a real popular bike back in its day. It was a bike that you could ride on-road, off-road, hence the name Enduro. How much are you looking for? You know, 15? I'm thinking about 600, 700 bucks. Any kind of thing we can do to meet in the middle? Throw me an offer. I'll take 1,000 flat. Greg, I can't go over 800 bucks. Why don't we flip for it? Flip a coin? Yeah, why not? 200 bucks. 200 bucks. That's the difference. 200 is the difference. OK, you Heads win 1,000. Tails, you lose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there we go. All right, you got a coin? I sure do. Oh, that Check was too out. easy. All go. right, so I'll flip. You flip. You call it eagle, eagle, or rifle. All okay. right, call it in the air. Eagle. Rifle, 800 oh, bucks. Rifle. Bummer, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Bummer. OK, sold. <laughs> This bike will be sought after, whether it's a complete bike 
or its parts. Seven, eight. Because it's all there, somebody's going to want most of it or all of it. My grandpa and dad are working hard on their bikes for the Sturgis build off. But I'm taking my time. I got to figure out the perfect strategy. With it being a three-way build-off, I know Zach should probably get started working on his bike. Rumors are that he hasn't started yet. Looks like Arlen's making pretty good progress, but not nearly as much progress as Corey and I. And uh, we're getting this part pretty much done, so uh, if Zach wants to make it on top, he better bring his A-game. What's that? You gotta be... man. Oh. You gotta be me. Holy... Dad means business. That's killer work. You can watch my taillight on the way to Sturgis. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be a long ride. It is gonna be a long ride. It'll be fun. Hopefully yeah. you have a bike. Yeah, if you get your bike done. Well, you can take a stock one. Oh, I'm just Here's about to stock. start. <laughs> yeah. Just about to start on mine. Yeah. This is one of those moments in life where you tell yourself, holy <laughs> you got a lot of work to do. It's just a few weeks till we leave for Sturgis. My grandpa Arlen and my dad Corey have been busting their ass on their bikes. But that gave me the chance to go a different direction, a really fast direction. I know I can make a bike that outperforms both of theirs. Time to give the guys my plan. All right, guys, so as you all know, Sturgis is coming up. Sturgis is our Super Bowl. We're going a little anti-trend. We're going different than Grandpa and Dad. And we're going to go kind of like a road race bagger. <laughs> big, big, big power, carbon, sport. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a rider. I'm going to strip down the bike immediately with the goal of shedding as much weight as possible. First up, replacing the heavy stock wheels with super light carbon fiber. Dad and Grandpa, they're going to be long, they're going to be low, they're going to be slow. But they're old. And I get it. You get old, you get a little slow. Cameron, Jim, <laughs> hey, hey, speaks for itself. <laughs> Which brings me to my secret weapon for beating these old timers. A full engine overhaul. Adding cams, a race computer, and a supercharger doubling the horsepower. It's going to be dope. I mean, long and low is cool, but I'd rather go fast. To make this bike even more race ready, we're replacing the suspension and the exhaust with lightweight, high performance components. To have this motor package with the wheels, with everything that you're doing, you're setting a different trend. Finally, we're going to kill the look by giving the tank and rear fender a sleek new design and finishing off with a top of the line paint job. It'll look every bit as great as it runs. You expect me to solve that all out? Yes, I do. Jimmy, you're a talented, talented machinist. You this are right. Your, this is your ball game right here. OK. No, and then after you're done, you can hold it up, and everyone can give you recognition. Yeah. I hope so. I'm tired of all you guys getting recognition. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, so we know what we got to do. So uh, here we go, boys. Cool. Let's go. Cool. This Sportster was a trade-in that I picked up for 4500 bucks. Now all I need to do is give it a Stormtrooper touch. I'm taking the rocker covers apart right now to get powder coated. Let's strip them off, obviously. You're already doing that. Mm -hmm. We powder them. We'll go black, you know, gloss black. The body work is clean on the Sportster, so all I have to do is send the sheet metal out for a nice satin white paint job. Brian will powder coat everything else gloss black. And then I'm shifting all my focus to my Surgis bike. So I was really excited about this Yamaha Enduro I picked up for 800 bucks. But as soon as I get back to the shop, I get this real hinky look from Ray. It's kind of a pile, but... It know. is kind of a pile. I don't think we'll be able to get our money back out of it. Well, I'd be willing to bet you I could get my money back out of it just by parting it out. What would you be willing to bet? Well, you know me, I'm pretty shy around a lunch and dinner table. So what do you say we bet lunch? No limit. No limit? No limit lunch. Bingo. I got him to bite. Waiter, yes, I'd like to order a bottle of wine with my lunch. Well, either way, we're both going to eat well, so Yeah, let's we do will it. go eat lunch. <laughs> it's just who picks up the tab. Cool, man. All right, let me know. All right. See what Corey did today? I don't know. It's tough. He's having some nice parts made for his. 
Yeah. Zach, I don't know what he's running. He hasn't he hasn't even started. He hasn't even made his mind up yet, huh? No. I'll be riding this before he gets started. We uh, took it out of the crate and stripped it down the first day. That should be done in plenty of time. I don't like that last minute stress. Beautiful. What's up, buddy? Not too much. How are you doing? We got to get Jim started on this thing because we're under a real time crunch trying to get it out for Sturgis. OK, stop. So I'm going to start pulling the fender off here for Jim. That way, you can kind of get going on cutting it up. You know, Arlen and Corey's bikes are just about done, and we're just starting, so we got to hurry. What's up? Yeah. All right, plan on this thing. Light, light as possible, fast as possible on that rear fender. Um, we already know, let's do an indentation in it. Let's pocket it so we match the bag, give a different look. Do you want to extend it any? No. And those guys have done that. Yeah. It's yeah. old hat. Yeah, team old. My dad and grandpa are going for long, low, slow. They can't help it. They're old. Yeah, we want new, young back. stuff. My performance bike is all about speed. It's what the real riders out there appreciate. We got to cut corners where we can and still get the best effect possible. All right? Fine with me. Let's roll. All right, roll with it. Also, there, is there any wires or anything I need to watch out for here? Yeah, all of them. Oh, OK, you guys hold me back. I'm just saying be careful. Careful? He, he talking to me? <laughs> yeah. OK, well, Zach didn't mark the cuts on rear fender. I hope Brian knows what he wanted, because I don't want him on my ass. He wants to take, you know, fall, take this line, yeah. basically flip it. So he wants it to cave in all the way down the fender. So from here, just go in? As far as I know. Fine, whatever Zach wants, so Zach prepared. gets. Zach wants it to go in and then come back out. The reverse of what it was. That's it. Uh, man. This back fender is an important piece, and it needs to get done. Dude, Jim, what up? Well, when I come to check on Jim, he didn't exactly cut the fender the way I wanted it. Was it for the other side? No. And we're going to go the same kind of, we still want the stock. Huh? Still like the point down here. Point? How are you going to point that way? We reverse everything. Not reverse anything. You're just having a pocket. So you keep the point in, and then you got the pocket. Why didn't you tell me that? After working all day on this fender, Zach comes in and tells me it's wrong. Let's get that out of there. I feel that I didn't have really clear instructions. Bad leadership, I'd say. Spacey goes, want it to where it's, it's dropped in the middle of the fender. I wanted Jim to cut more towards the center of the fender. But, of course, he cut on the sides of the fender. Oh, man. Which sucks, because now this fender's wasted. Jesus, OK, well, I guess I'll go home now. <laughs> Got another fender. Well, what you want to do now, bud? Oh. I thought you meant a trough all the way down the fender. Not good. Jim ruined my rear fender, and now he just won't stop talking about it. You got to be explained better. You got to explain more better. You need to confirm you. before you cut the thing in half. You were here this morning explaining to me. Yeah, you were looking at my ha hand. I was like, OK, check it. You weren't doing that. Yeah, you weren't doing that. You were doing it in the matter of fact, yes, I was. You said, make it look like the bags. No. I yes. said, the angles. It's a trench. Well, what's the difference? One's a trench, a trough, semantics. Arguing with Jim isn't going anywhere, and it's not going to solve anything. So there's just one solution. Now what? I'll get a new fender and steal dad's or grandpa's. In the meantime, you stay right here. I'm going to get the fender, and we're going to finish this thing tonight. <laughs> I'll think of what it is, but you're going to me now. Both my dad and G-Pa made custom rear fenders for their bikes. And that means there are two intact fenders upstairs. Yeah. This means I have one decision I need to make. So who do you think is going to get more pissed, my dad or my grandpa if I seal it? Well, ah, I don't want to piss grandpa off. I don't want to piss dad off, but let's be honest. We're going to steal dad's. I'm taking my chances stealing my dad's fender. But I need to make sure Jim doesn't screw up this one. It's better to say sorry than ask for him before. What's, how's that saying go, something like that? It's easier to beg for forgiveness than ask for permission. OK, well, we got to get the lights off, and then you got to mark it where you Oh, want. OK, so, so this next shot, 
or the next the next try that I'm going to actually get to market before you cut it? Go home, get your rest. Go home, get your rest, Jim. Isn't that what happens when you get old? You I guess so. My dad is killing it on his motorcycle. Can we brush a little clear on there? g is almost done. I got plenty of time to do all this extra stuff. These are custom victories with classic nest style. You know what? My strategy's gonna pay off. It took a little while to think of my design. We're gonna go road race bagger. When I blow past dad and grandpa in the middle of Wyoming, they're gonna respect this bike. We're gonna do this fast, and Jim's gonna get to work on that rear fender immediately. Ray and I made a bet that I could have this thing sold off for more than I paid for. Because of the time limit that I've got on this thing, it makes more sense to just strip it and sell it. This way, I'll get the most money out of this thing, and if I've only got three days on a no-limit lunch, I can eat a lot. Ray, how you doing, man? Good, how's it going over here? Well, slowly but surely, she's becoming less and less of a motorcycle and more and more just a big pile of parts. Oh, so I'm just thinking about what I'm going to have for lunch. Oh, man. It's I don't know, but uh, I think I'll be the one that's going to be getting lunch out of this, Chief. I really do. Okay. I mean, these old vintage bikes, they're coming back. Yeah, I think this will make me some money. Not a lot, but it'll definitely cover what I put into it. Sometimes the best way to go is strip it over flip it. I got to get back to work. See, oh! Don't, don't, hey, don't oh, rush. Sorry, buddy. Oh, man. Yeah. That was cold. That's competition. Cold-blooded. All right. All right, man. See okay. you later. I got dissed. I got a straight dissed, yo. Sometimes the raddest bikes are legitimately just the most simple. A few couple things. This one, we give it a makeover. Matte white paint, powder coat all the stuff black, a few nest accessories here and there. Real simple job, but it makes a big statement. The Stormtrooper Special came out bitching. James is coming tomorrow, and there's no way he's passing this up. Simple, easy, clean. Okay, let's check some emails here. So after talking to Mr. Rainy Day Ray, I've listed all the parts on the internet, and people are already calling. This is Cameron. This is Cameron. Hey, this is Cameron Smith calling from Arlen Ness. How you doing today? But these parts aren't exactly flying out the door. I'm sure Ray couldn't be happier. I'm nowhere near the $800 I need to win this bet. And prove to Ray, I know what I'm talking about. Today's the day I've been looking forward to. I'm ready to get this sports draw off my hands. Uh, too big for this. <laughs> they look like I'm cruising. But what I really want to see is if this guy's showing up in a Stormtrooper suit. I'm kind of hoping he might even go Chewbacca, Boba Fett, and then I see it out of the corner of my eye. A guy walking through the parking lot. <laughs> through the glass doors, full white stormtrooper outfit. Can't believe he did it. Absolutely awesome. Yes. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Aren't you a little short What's for up, a stormtrooper? What up? I'm thinking to myself, how's this guy gonna even ride this bike? Oh <laughs> my goodness. Look at this bad boy. Look at James this. comes in, he looks stoked. He's off the walls, he's excited, he loves it. This is how I need to show up to Comic Con. We got you, man. We got you hooked up. We got flat white paint job, nice high quality white. Oh, it's beautiful. We, we got, it's fast little yeah. bike, dude. I think, I think I'm ready to take this bad boy, man. What, what, yeah. what, what's this gonna cost me, man? 11, okay? I'm letting Zach. Yeah. Let's not jump the gun here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> I told you initially my budget was more like 8 to 10, so 11. I got gotcha. you. It's kind of pushing it. I mean, I love the bike. Yeah. I don't know if I could do 11, man. Why don't we do 8, dude? Let's do 8. I can have a little extra spending cash from San Diego. I'm just saying. 
Eight would be nice. We made it easy at 10. Your storm trippered out. You brought the suit, so I'm going to give you a discount. Can we do 950, 9,500? 9, 97.50 is yours, dude. Yeah, you'll do that for me? I will. I will. The suit, the suit got me. <laughs> so I, I knew it. I the knew you were going to come to, Zach. Yeah. I paid the shop trade-in price of $4,500 for this 2010 sports shirt. Since it was in great shape, I can focus on cleanup and paint, which ran me $2,100. James is paying $9,750 for it which gives me a quick profit of $3,150. Plus, we got a really happy stormtrooper. We had to insist he wears a DOT certified helmet on his ride to San Diego. We'll ship him his other one. James, may the uh, force be with you. I'm glad I made a few bucks. So now I'm going to get moving on my Sturgis bike. So this is what we've been waiting for. It's what we call separating the men from the boys. Supercharged, intercooled. Dan and Graham are going to beat my desk. Great. It sounds like you got the blower. Brian knows the killer engine when he hears it. I'll tell you that. <laughs> this bike is gonna be mean. Good, bro. All right. After a slow start, things are looking up, even though I don't think that punk Ray is convinced I'm gonna make my money back. Hello, this is Cameron. What parts are you looking for? Exhaust. I've got the original. It's solid, not rusted through, but the exterior is rusty. You want it? Cool. I'm so close to beating Ray and winning that lunch bet, I can almost taste it. Steak, filet, medium rare. It's take two on the rear fender for my Sturgis bike. We're in a serious crunch, and nothing more can go wrong. Oh, no! Uh-oh. Oh, man. Uh, hey, Brian, I think I got a problem. What's up, Jim? I was welding a fender. And all of a sudden, I saw some smoke coming out. I looked in through the little hole where, light, where the taillights went. And I think I set the little uh, motor thing on fire. I think that's it, yeah. I'll be right there. OK. Uh-oh. What's on fire and what happened? What the hell Something did you do? I had a little accident uh, downstairs. I was welding the fender up and I took my helmet off and there was a little flame shooting out of the side of the fender. Uh-oh. So there was a little hole in the fender, so I just blew it out. Oh, no. And I looked up and there was smoke coming out of the top. Then I called Brian to see if uh, there was anything he could do. <laughs> hey, Brian, I think I got a problem. I'll be right there. What he could do is bring Zach in here to torture me. She <laughs> wiped the <laughs> smile right off your face. Because if it's the ABS unit? I think so. Oh, oh, God. Oh, my God. So an ABS module and motor is a anti-lock brake system. It's not cheap and not easily replaceable. Yeah, you built it, I think. Hey, how would I know that was going to catch on fire? I don't know. Common sense? How long have you been doing this? Well, since yesterday. When I'm sitting in my office and I don't get a phone call, Brian gets a phone call. What you don't know is you're on speakerphone. I don't get a phone because you knew you screwed up. You <laughs> knew it, dude. You knew it. I thought and Brian knew. could fix it before no, no, he got here. <laughs> exactly. It's exactly what you're thinking. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is frustrating, and it makes you want to go up inside like this, but 
It's tough to be mad at Jim. I could have died in this place. <laughs> I should shoot you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. It sets us back, and uh, right now we're running behind the clock. Jim's penance will be staying late to finish the fender tonight so I can get it out to paint. Otherwise, we won't make the surges on time. This is Cameron. Nope, frame's gone. Engine's gone. It's day three of my bet with Ray, and I'm only 175 bucks away from winning. The next time the phone rings, it could put me over the top. Yeah, I do have the tires and rims left. You want them? All right, bye. Yes! Hey, Ray! <laughs> Guess what? What? You're buying lunch, dude. You I just sold, sold I, I've still got parts left, and I busted my 800 bucks. So, yes, you're buying lunch. Where are we going? The and most Yelp, expensive place most you could possibly find? The most expensive place we can find. It works for me. Yeah, yeah, that is one of those where we're both going to go eat lunch. That's so nice work, brother. Cool, dude. Later. See you. For this year's Sturgis, Victory has created a special challenge, the first ever build-off between three generations of nests. Each one of us gets one of this year's Nest Signature Series cross countries to do whatever we want with it. Despite Jim's effort to destroy my victory, Oh, no! My bike is close to being done. But out in the parking lot, Dad and G-Paw are about to leave for Sturgis on a pair of killer bikes. Rocket. Dad's bike is ridiculously good looking with a handmade custom front fairing that no one else in the world has. It looks gorgeous and everything flows out of it. From the multi-piece front wheel to the lines that flow from the front to the back. Amazing. I don't think you'd be able to find another grandpa who could build a bike as cool as this. This long, low machine is signature Arlen Ness, and it'll have heads turning all the way to South Dakota. And since he's done this 40 plus times, you know he made it a comfortable ride. Rocket. Now it's time for the annual ride to Sturgis with the hamsters. That's the motorcycle club g and his friends started a long time ago. Well, looks like it's ready to load enough, huh? Yeah, except Zach. Well, let's go to Sturgis. Go! Let's do it. Let's go, guys. I'm just going to have to catch up. I'm going to spend the next 24 hours putting this thing together. It's all hands on deck. The painted parts have come in. Ooh. This is some wicked color. Thank this you. is something else. We made the color special for the project. Next up is a little graphics. <laughs> Which means my painter, Big Shane, can finish it off with some gold leaf graphics. I use a varnish. This allows the leaf to adhere to the product that we're working on. Once this tacks up, start laying down 23 karat gold leaf, and then we'll sit there and engine turn it so it gives a nice machine finish look. Pinstripe it and call it a job done well. While that's happening, there's a lot of assembly to do. Got to get the Sturgis bike done. If it's not done, I'm not going. But the bike is coming together. The last thing we need to do is put the remaining chrome pieces on. But there's just one problem with that. Take a look at the bike. Chrome doesn't really go with it. So what I'm doing here is taking scotch Bright, taking a chrome and hand rubbing it out for uh, a brush nickel look. Kind of gives a hand finish. It's going to take a while. This went from, like, kind of cool and fun and relaxing to just yes. sucks. You're doing good. You're stroking some real pipe right there. Well, you know, I watch you, Zach, and I get the idea. You've been watching him stroke pipe? It's going to be a long night of polishing pipe and stupid jokes. Yeah, Listen, okay. I understand you both like to stroke pipe, but if you, I'm, I'm on a primary cover. But in the morning, we're going to have a monster of a motorcycle.
we decided to have a family build off for Sturgis, each of us used our 2014 Nest Signature Series Victory. This bike is centered around performance. Carbon wheels, Olin suspension, a completely overhaul motor, cams, supercharger, and complete one-off custom exhaust. For the paint, we had to keep our handcrafted look going. So we went with a satin green base with hand-done gold leaf graphics. All in all, we took about 100 pounds off this motorcycle and doubled the horsepower, completely transforming this bagger from a cruiser to a road race machine. I'm up against my heroes, my g and my dad. But I'm not going to lie, I think I took the cake on this one. They may be a day ahead to Sturgis, but by the time they see me, all they're going to see is taillights. And now it's time to see who wins this thing. My dad and G-Pod got a good head start to the Sturgis Rally. But thanks to my supercharged victory, I caught up to them in no time, and we rode into Sturgis together. Part of the reason we're in Sturgis is victory is holding a little bit of a family build-off competition. My dad, myself, and my grandpa are going to be showing the three of our bikes off. They're calling it the Battle of Badass Nests. Letting the public vote, we're going to see who the winner is. The Nesses are great at customization. They are, the, I mean, they're the legends of the industry. So it shows what's capable with these bikes. And I think our audience today really loved what they had to offer. The real Orland Ness? Yeah. <laughs> Orland Ness is the king, right? He's the king of customs. All right, let me, let me get between you girls. Okay. Corey always builds good bikes. But I'm going to make some wheels like that. We're going to start selling eventually in the catalog. All of the family's motorcycles are absolutely beautiful. I really built this thing to where I wanted to ride it every day. Because we're doing the build off and you know, with your long, low, and extremely exotic and everything else. And I said, well, Dad, I want to race. You know what? I feel damn good about my bike. I personally, I love it. It's hard to say who's the winner. My dad's is gorgeous. My grandpa's is gorgeous. But I'm still confident I got a damn good shot at winning the thing. Not only do I love the looks, but I love the way it performs. And I know I'll be riding circles around Dad and Jeep Pop. All right, guys. Well, they all have their own winner in their own mind. I think they think it's themselves. But we're going to turn it over to you. We've got ballot boxes right out front here. So get in line. Let's take a vote on see who's the who's the winner here. First vote of the day. Every vote counts. I voted for Arlen because I like the classic style of the bike. Okay, make the right decision there. Go Zach Ness. Yeah, OK. I want to say Zach, just because he looks better on the bike. Does that count? Corey's is just freaking amazing, the amount of body work he threw into that thing. Come with us over to Knuckle, and you'll see who wins the Nest competition. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world-famous Knuckle Saloon in downtown Surges. We are excited to have the battle of the badassness going on here in the Knuckle Saloon. It's hard to say who was the winner. My dad's is gorgeous, my grandpa's is gorgeous. Knowing the Sturgis crowd and the type of the older crowd here, maybe they might go towards them. But I'm still confident I got a damn good shot at winning the thing. Let's introduce to you our competitors. He's the third generation and aims to be the future of the first family of custom, Zach Ness. I'm juicy about my bike. I'm real confident. Not only do I love the looks, but I love the way it performs. The reason we build these things is to ride them. Next up, he's been customizing since he was a kid. The son has taken the Ness Empire to a new level. Corey Ness! I think I'm gonna win the competition. People like flash, you know. I think more people like flash than like simple styling. So I think, uh, I think I got a great shot at it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we introduce to you the man they call the King of Custom, enjoying his 40th straight Sturgis Rally. Please welcome the legend, Arlen Ness. Let's go.
like mine the best of the three, especially if you had to ride the other ones. We are ready right now to see which Nest Victory is the crowd favorite. The building has ended, and you, the people of Sturgis, have spoken. <laughs> and the winner is of the Battle of the Badassness, Corey Ness! to win this competition with three generations. Uh, well, it's pretty cool. Obviously, I'm within great company. I'm with my family, which is no better way to do it. But I'm happy to win. You bet. Give it up for Corey Ness. I got this motorcycle courtesy of victory. Then I dropped 13700 bucks in parts and labor and a little extra because of good old Jimmy. Oh, no. In total? I spent $14,900 on this build. All to lose to dear old dad. I think it's great to beat the guy who taught me. And Zach, he still knows who his daddy is. If I guess I might lose anyone, you would be my dad. I am bummed, but I'm coming after you next year, dad. We had a lot of work in that bike, and people liked it. A little competition. It's nice. I mean, how many people get to ride to Sturgis with your son and your grandson and, and have a great time? This is the place I picked right here. The bet's a bet. How are you doing today, gentlemen? Good, we're good. You? I'll have the sampler platter, the grilled asparagus, a full order of shrimp, filet mignon, medium rare, mashed potatoes, a bottle of wine. And I have your basket of bread coming out. Oh, fantastic. Here. Well, dude, to selling parts on the internet. Selling parts on the internet. Mmm. Oh, man, this is good. Yeah, with every bite of this, I'll remember every part I sold, all those phone calls. You know, I was thinking the upside to this is when you'd be eating, you'd shut the f up and not talk so much. I guess, I guess that's not going to happen.